Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream. As you guys may or may not know, I have two other channels, Fox Boss 9 and LeboView. On those channels I have reviews of products and I also have repairs. Now most of my RV repairs are now done on this channel. However, there were quite a few repairs and items that I reviewed for RVs on my other channels previous. So what I'm going to do with you now is share with you one of those videos. I've been riding on a daydream. It's a 1992 Terry Resort. It's a model 24M, uh, meaning 24 in length. Uh, first thing you want to check out is that the awning, not only the fabric is gone, but the roller tube and the torsion ends are gone too. So for all it's in pretty good shape. Definitely need to replace the tanks. Need a tank cover. Need to take care of the tongue. Paint it. Uh, missing some light covers you can see. The tires need replaced. Although they are all matching. They all have great tread. They are also all weather checked. And I'm not into that. Because last thing you want is a tire blowing out on your camping trip. And I'll show you the inside, I suppose. This is the back bedroom. The screen needs cleaned. Um, it's kind of a decent layout, all this. And that's why we got it. Um, this is also for Terry owners that have the other one, which has like a dinette. And uh, uh, My kids are getting older, and I don't think that they're going to be camping with this. As a matter of fact, I'm almost positive they won't. So here's the bedroom. Uh, the floor is very solid. I mean, I don't know if, I mean, it's solid. Um, however, there's signs of leakage. You can see here. And I will show you where that's coming from and that's going to be repaired. Um, all the lights work. Um, it has, uh, of course, ducted heat. You know, it's got a door to slides here. Uh, good size wardrobe closet. Which I'm happy about. Um, bathroom. Kind of strange. I'm not sure why they made it to where the door hits the oven. Maybe they don't want it opened all the way. I don't know. Um, guess these are some sort of towel racks. Makes sense. Some more hooks. Um, the shower. The bathroom. Of course the fan. Shower curtain. Which... It's a marine style toilet. Apparently there's two valves. I'll have to read up on that. It's a newer refrigerator. Um, but nonetheless, it's uh it's uh we got the manual for it. You see in there. And there's the heater controls. Uh this is not a ducted air conditioner. This is a uh a straight up uh you know blow out these holes on both sides. Um there's a couple things that need attention. I need to look at some of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to fill these today and check them out. Um, big sink, actually. I mean, it's it's relatively deep. Um, of course, the oven. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. I don't see. I guess that's a movable rack there. Going to the cabinets. I don't know how exciting this is, but I'll keep on running this video. Showing you everything. Adjustable, all kinds of heights. Um, of course, the old old microwave. Looks like the door's cracked, which I guess you can replace that with anything. Of course, this pulls out. It's a jackknife bed. Um, that pulls out to a table that comes out to about right there, about where my foot is. Of course, the cable hook up there, the hooks to the antenna, and there's a uh, power button to give you power. Same in the back. Um, there's a cable hook up here. This is a shelf that comes, you know, lift up and it's old school because everybody's got flat screens. And a uh, pretty good sized closet space here. Uh, we talked about it. My wife and I discussed it slightly. Um, obviously this bed isn't uh, the size of bed that we sleep in in the house. So uh, <laughs> I have to uh, maybe... Um, I could remove one of those cabinets there, <clears throat> uh, the tall cabinet, and uh, then put in a bigger bed if I want. I kind of like, I really like this because um, this is definitely for three people only. Um, 
I wouldn't expect uh, four people to be in here. Uh, I'll show you the, the reason that we picked this up at a decent price. Now this was the deal maker. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see this, but this is a rubber roof and I have no doubt that they've sealed it off to where it doesn't leak anymore. But this thing looks like a jigsaw puzzle or something. The cross braces feel pretty solid, but like the wood here is all rotted. This is this wood's just gone all the way through here. Peel all this stuff off to expose how nasty it is underneath, um, which there's gonna it's gonna need a lot of plywood replacement, maybe even some cross braces. Um, but you just screw in new cross braces and uh, put down new plywood, uh, smooth it all out and then uh, lay a new rubber membrane down, you know, glue it down. We can go camping with it right now as it sits. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I, I, I trust it, um, except for the tires. Um, but anyways, this is just an update. Thanks. Appreciate it, as always. And if you uh, have any comments, just type them down below, and I'll try to respond. Thanks again. Bye.